so hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss some of the important numerical problems the uh, some of the assuming uh, assuming numerical problems which are going to be appearing in the exam electromagnetic theory that is uh, two days after we are having the exam of electromagnetic theory of uh, electro electronics and communication engineering the bec 401 subject okay in the last video those who have not seen it they can refer it that is we have discussed the important concepts from all module 1 to module 5 we have discussed everything okay uh, which and all are the possible questions which might be arriving in the exam but in this video we are going to discuss which and all are the possible numerical problems which might be arriving in the exam okay from module 1 to module 5 all of them we are going to discuss so in module 1 one question might be appearing from the coulomb's law only that is to find the force exerted by charge q2 or q1 due to q2 due to q1 or q1 due to q2 so one question from this uh, coulomb's law the problem is must okay you, you should be studying this before going for exam okay this problem related to coulomb's law okay so we have solved this in our play, uh, playlist it's available okay you can see it okay the coulomb's law uh, problem is must so one problem might be coming from coulomb's law where you need to be finding the force exerted by the particular point charges okay so this is one important numerical you need to be studying and also the problems related to electric field intensity also it is very very important in module one okay the expression of electric field intensity is uh, electric field intensity due to a single point charge and also they might be asking electric field intensity due to several charges okay from a single point charge okay so this also the problems related to electric field intensity are very very important okay so please uh, you can note it down the problems related to force due to coulomb's force of attraction and also problems related to electric field intensity they might be asking and then the problems related to charge distributions are also um, is a very must question and they might be asking this for 5 to 6 marks okay one question is sure question okay from charge distributions that is you need to be finding the total charge enclosed within a volume surface or an area okay the, the standard formula for the charge uh, enclosed is q is equal to uh, uh, volume integral of rho v dv but this dv they might be asking in uh, all the three coordinate systems that is in rectangular cylindrical as well as spherical in that the value of dv would be changing in all the coordinate systems so this is for rectangular coordinate system where the value of dv is dx dy dz then again substituting the integrals putting the limits and solving okay the find finding the value of q this is a must question also this is in uh, uh, this is one problem related to cylindrical coordinate system where the value of dv is rho d rho d phi dz okay so this you need to be knowing and you need to be solving so this uh, this problem is again one important problem yeah so these were the problems from module one that is one is from from coulomb's force of attraction to find the force exerted due to any of the point charges one is from electric field intensity and one is the charge distribution that is finding the value of the charge okay so these are the important numerical problems which might be appearing from module 1 so now let's see what are the problems which might be appearing from module 2 okay from module 2 this these kind of problems you must be studying and you must be writing these kind of uh, practicing these kind of problems thoroughly okay you should write and practice okay because uh, this consists of partial derivations that is you to find the divergence of v or the volume charge density using the relationship of uh, del dot d in rectangular coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system as well as spherical coordinate system we have three different formulas for that related to these formulas directly they would be asking the question okay which consists which would be consisting of several sub questions like this okay this kind of question they would be asking this for seven to eight marks this is a sure short question okay if only the terms would be changed and one question related to rectangular uh, spherical as well as cylindrical one of the one one questions as uh, three sub questions they would be asking so this is one important question and the multiple times repeated question you can check the question paper if you want so this problem related to divergence that is relationship that is del dot d is equal to rho v you need to be solving this okay using partially differentiating it this question is also had appeared in the model paper those who have not seen it we have already solved this kind of problem in model paper solution playlist you can refer it okay so yeah this problem in module 2 is very important you should be studying it okay related to divergence and this is one more important problem numerical problem which uh, which might be appearing so that is 
by to, they might be asking to evaluate the both sides of divergence theorem okay so whatever the equation we have got for divergence theorem that is uh, surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv so this is the equation for divergence theorem according to this equation they might be asking to evaluate both sides of divergence theorem that is left hand side as well as right hand side so this is again a multiple times repeated question they might be asking this for 7 to 8 marks where they would be giving the value of the electric flux density d and some of the parameters that is the limits of x y z okay using the sum of given data we need to be finding once the lhs and the RHS and we, we need to make sure that both are equal that is LHS should be equal to RHS in order to satisfy this condition of divergence theorem okay so this kind of problems are also uh, mandatory to learn you should be seeing go through this problem once okay before entering the exam that is to evaluate both sides of divergence theorem okay so yeah this is one important problem from uh, module 2 and one problem related to work done okay that is to calculate the work done in moving some certain amount of charge okay from initial to final position along the paths the electric field values they would be giving okay like as the sub questions and uh, using the relation of the work done that is this formula using this formula we need to be finding the necessary data okay uh, whatever is given you need to be finding the values of the work done okay similar kind of problem we have solved it in our concept playlist you can refer it okay so this one problem is also you might be should be learning this okay along with the divergence problem this problem is also very important and for module 3 one problem related to poisons or laplace equation is must okay one problem from poisons or laplace equation they should, they would be asking it okay okay that is in order to satisfy the la one one problem they might be asking like they would be giving the value of v and we need to be satisfying the laplace equation okay what is the laplace equation in general del square v is equal to zero right and they would be giving the value of v along with some points okay we need to be substituting the del square v in rcs ccs or hcs by seeing the question you would be understanding that then we need to be so solving that and we need to be solving in such a way that at last we should be getting the relation del square v is equal to zero that kind of problem should they might be asking because it is multiple times repeated that is satisfy the laplace equation by the given data they would be giving the value of v and we need to be satisfying the laplace equation or else these kind of problems that is calculating the numerical values of v and rho v at a point p in free space if the value of v is given uh, at p of 1 comma 2 comma 3 the equation for a Poisson's equation we know that del square v is equal to minus rho v by epsilon okay and also they have given the coordinates as by seeing these coordinates values only we can recognize whether which coordinate system we should be using that is cylindrical spherical or rectangular so here in this case it is 1 2 3 we know that so these are the values of x y z since there are no angles mentioned here so this cannot be spherical or cylindrical so this is we should be knowing that this is in rectangular coordinate system once you recognize that you need to be substituting the del square v in that particular coordinate system and go on solving it okay so this kind of problem might they might be asking okay related to poisons or laplace equation and the, from module 4 okay so this problem here as you can see this is also repeated multiple times in model paper previous question papers and all of them so this is the same problem okay this same problem is been repeated in the last five question papers of this subject okay you can ask your seniors and you can refer it the same question here this question is multiple times repeated and also i have solved this in our playlist okay that is related to force due to point charge they would where they would be giving the value of v in magnitude form as well as in direction form and also they would be mentioning the values of b e and uh, also the mag uh, electric field and magnetic field acting together okay these three sub questions like this they would be asking you to be finding the value of force exerted on the charge by the field okay yeah by uh, seeing the data we need to be finding okay that is whenever the magnetic field is given we know that f is equal to q times v cross b the relationship between force and magnetic field okay and when the electric field is given f is equal to q times e and whenever both the fields are acting together they are given we need to be adding the equations that is q times e plus q times v cross b okay so this problem is very very important related to force due to point charge they might be asking it so you need to be studying that and also one problem related to the magnetic boundary conditions i hope so they might be asking it this time because 
this time the syllabus has been changed a bit so that's why i have a doubt that they might be asking one problem related to magnetic boundary conditions as well okay so this problem uh, i know that i have not solved it okay but you can take it down as well this has a very important question take it down and uh, take uh, take the question down and note this uh, uh, answer here solution here okay for magnetic boundary conditions here i'm not going to explain it i'm just going to show it to you all okay the detailed theory explanation of magnetic boundary conditions is available in our channel okay so this is one simple problem you can note it down okay related to magnetic boundary conditions which is very very important okay so this one problem also they might be asking from magnetic boundary conditions and from module 5 these problems you should be learning that is the problems related to depth of penetration okay and also the problems related to Mac maxwell's equation that is sat when they would be giving to satisfy maxwell's equation by the given data okay again what we need to be doing is first by seeing the assuming the data whatever is given and we need to be finding the relationship between those two data in form of Maxwell's equation that is which Maxwell's equation would be satisfying the given data okay so using that Maxwell's equation we need to be solving separately for left hand side as well as right hand side and we need to be equating those two terms that is left hand side as well as right hand side we should be getting it equal and whenever these two we get it as equal then we can say that the Maxwell's equation is satisfied okay so this kind of problem they might be asking for five to six marks okay that is satisfy Maxwell's equation by the given data here whatever the data is given first you need to be recognizing that which Maxwell's equation suits good for the given data and using that Maxwell's equation separately solve left hand side as well as right hand side okay so this problem please uh, note it down and one problem related to depth of penetration okay that is determine the depth of penetration by the given data they would be giving here and this is the formula for depth of penetration okay the data they would be giving and now using that data you need to be finding the depth of penetration okay so yeah that's all these are the are the important numerical problems and also from module 4 i have uh, missed to tell you one important problem related to the ampere's law okay which we have discussed the relation del cross h is equal to j okay again same thing here what we need to be doing is same thing as divergence they would be giving uh, three sub questions where they would be giving the values of uh, h here okay in three different coordinate systems use the relation del cross h is equal to j solve it separately for the uh, current density whatever the answer we get substitute the values of the given coefficients and they would be mentioning that point at the particular point what are the coefficients substitute that and try to find the values of uh, j okay in all the three coordinate systems okay so this problem is also very very important from module 4 so please note it down so uh, these were the important numerical problems from all the modules that is module 1 2 3 4 5 for the subject electromagnetic theory which is been conducting after two days the fourth sem of ec students are having that exam also this was a few tips and all the for preparation purpose we have made the videos for important concepts as well as important numericals okay as per your demand so please uh, make a note of this and i hope that this these two videos would be useful for you all also like share and subscribe also stay tuned for further subjects uh, model paper solution that is pcs control systems microcontrollers all of them we are going to provide it in a short amount of time okay so that's why stay updated to this channel uh, whenever you have any doubt arising you can feel free to ask comment section is all yours okay do hit the notification bell and for latest updates stay tuned to our channel okay so please this you uh, watch this video till the end all the numericals we have discussed it and also the conceptual videos uh, all which we have created the playlist and also the previous video related to all important concepts you can watch it in our uh, channel it is available okay so yeah that's all thank you all the best guys